sculptures and buildings. Introduction Some 3000 years ago, very exquisite bronze figures were found in Maharashtra. Next phase of sculptures belonged to the Mauryan period around 2200 years ago. King Ashoka set up tall, smoothly polished pillars made of one piece of stone. They also had at their top some figures of animals. These are called capitals. Messages of Ashoka were carved on them. The most famous among them is the lion, capital of Sarnath, set up by Ashoka in the place where Buddha first preached his teachings. These four majestic lions facing the four directions on the wheel of Dharma represent the power and majesty of the Mauryan emperors. Sanchi Stupa in Madhya Pradesh. It is one of the most important stupas built by King Ashoka. In the center of a stupa were buried relics of the Buddha or important monks. Stupa has many meanings. It is supported to represent Buddha. At the same time, it is believed that the dome of the stupa represents the universe, with the central pillar being the axis which connects the world below. Amaravati Stupa in Guntur district is the famous one in Andhra Pradesh. This was built during the rule of Satavahanas about 1900 years ago. Another important stupa was the Nagarjuna Konda Stupa. Vijaypuri, the capital of Ikshvaku king on the bank of river Krishna. A large number of stupas, viharas, palaces and also a beautifully designed amphitheater are in Vijayapuri. Unfortunately, today the entire city is submerged in Nagarjuna Sagar Dam. As time went on, sculptures started making large and complete figures of relief. The most famous sculptures of Buddha from Gandhara in the northwest, Mathura and Sarnath in Uttar Pradesh tried to give people an idea of peace, calm and serene personality. Vihara, where the monasteries or living places of Buddhist monks where religious education was imparted. Chaitya was also a prayer hall for monks. Viharas usually had small rooms around an open courtyard and had a small shrine containing a stupa or an image of Buddha at one end. There are cave viharas excavated on hillsides in Nashik and Karli, beautiful sculptures carved on them. The other viharas built with brick or rock stone blocks in Takshasila, Nagarjunakonda and Nalanda which became great places of learning. Buddhist holy places of learning had attracted the pilgrims from other countries. Chinese pilgrims Fahian, Itzing, Huinstang came to visit places associated with the life of Buddha and famous monasteries. Huinstang and others spent time studying in Nalanda, the most famous Buddhist monastery of the period.